Good morning, everyone. I'd like to recognize uh, uh, the, the presence of uh, uh, the Bank of Zambia representative, uh, the Bank of, Zamb uh, Bank, of uh, Bank of South Sudan representative, um, as well as uh, the Central Bank of uh, uh, Guinea. Uh, the CEO of the Bankers Association of uh, uh, Zambia, as well as uh, the representatives from uh, Commerce uh, Business uh, uh, Center. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, esteemed uh, organizers and distinguished uh, participants, all uh, protocols observed. Uh, warm greetings uh, to you all. And uh, for those that are coming uh, for the first time in Zambia, we give you a warm hug uh, for uh, finding time to come and uh, visit our, our country. And those that are visiting Zambia uh, for the second or even multiple time now, which we can't even uh, count, welcome to. We appreciate your coming here. Thank you so much. Um, I'm uh, deeply honored and uh, profoundly uh, grateful to stand before you uh, and um, to the organizers who played the pivotal role in uh, uh, extending uh, this invitation to me, uh, your dedication in advancing uh, the field of instant payments and uh, your contribution in fostering uh, uh, knowledge sharing are truly commendable. Um, it is a pleasure to collaborate uh, with individuals and organizations uh, who share common vision of shaping uh, the future of uh, financial uh, systems. Um, as we embark on this uh, collective uh, journey of exploring and learning, let us remember the significance of our shared uh, endeavor. Instant payments are not merely a technological uh, uh, about instant payments are not merely technological advancements. They are instruments of change that have uh, the power to enhance economic efficiency, uh, foster uh, financial inclusion, and empower individuals and commitment and uh, communities. Uh, the, the path we tread is one of innovation, collaboration, and most importantly, impact. Uh, it is a path that uh, leads us towards a future where financial transactions are not just uh, faster and more convenient, but also more inclusive and equitable. Uh, it is a path that holds promise of uh, reshaping economies, lifting people out of poverty, and fostering a more connected and prosperous world. Just since we're looking at uh, payment systems, uh, I thought uh, we could just uh, go back in time where we're coming from. Payment systems uh, started a long time ago. Um, the, the, the first stage was the butter system where you had to exchange a good for another good, but that was inefficient and it was limited to uh, uh, limited by the need for double coincidence um, of uh, ones. It's then developed a bit. It went to um, uh, 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 metals, metal coins and cash that came in. It's at least formalized uh, the payment system. Later on, banks uh, came into play. People started depositing money into these uh, banks and they would then issue out checks to transfer the, 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 the funds. Um, uh, later with advancement of uh, computerization coming into place, we had uh, electronic fund transfers that came through, um, uh, which enabled uh, electronic uh, transfer of funds uh, between banks. Later we saw uh, credit and uh, debit cards coming into play. They brought in a sense of instant uh, authorization and uh, uh, payments. 
it brought up the, the speed of uh, moving uh, funds uh, a bit faster. We then had um, automated the clearing house coming into play. They facilitated the electronic uh, uh, transfer transfers in bulk. Um, though these systems were batched and uh, for monies to move from uh, um, uh, the, the, the sender to the receiver, it might it, it would take a few hours to even days in some instances. Then the uh, uh, the the real time uh, gross settlement um, uh, systems came into play. They were uh, they brought instant payments, um, but for high value and uh, basically meant for um, banks to move money from um, one bank to the other. Then also we uh, we saw the uh, instant payments. Are coming in, and this is where we are, and that's why we are here. We uh, we need payments to move instantly because there is a lot of convenience in uh, uh, instant uh, transactions. The moment you want to um, uh, to access a service, if you need uh, to move the money immediately, you can uh, uh, get on your gadget and. Uh, move the money and the receiver immediately uh, gets uh, uh, the service. So with that said, uh, and uh, just a few uh, um, uh, uh, items on uh, who Zek is. Zek um, was established uh, in uh, 1999 uh, with a vision to be a center of excellence and uh, also uh, um, as a, an innovation in uh, uh, payment uh, services. And our mission is basically to provide efficient, reliable, um, inter uh, and value-driven payment systems. We are here to ensure that uh, we make in um, uh, inclusivity a possibility. Um, Zec uh, provides, uh, among the services that it uh, offers, we have uh, checks, we've got electronic fund transfers. Uh, these are, uh, run from um, uh, Monday through uh, Friday. And uh, we then um, introduced the national financial uh, switch, uh, which was in implemented uh, uh, in 19, uh, sorry, in uh, 2018. We started uh, with um, the ATMs. Then uh, the following year, we moved on to um, uh, point of sale. And in 2020, we moved on to the uh, instant uh, payment uh, system where we, um, we process uh, instant uh, payments. And uh, our switch is, uh, um, is a, uh, is an instant payment system and it runs 24 seven every day. Anytime you want to transact, you do transact. We, we, we have a, a robust uh, um, uh, system and uh, the resources as well as uh, the support staff that uh, ensure that they are always um, um, monitoring the system and giving support to uh, participants that need uh, the needed uh, support. And um, why is our uh, system an, um, an instant payment system? We, the processes, the, the transactions that we process are processed within um, 25 seconds. Actually, the 25 seconds is just uh, the maximum time that transaction can, uh, can, uh, can be processed in, but otherwise, in a split of seconds, a transaction is uh, gets uh, 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 processed. So among the use cases that we uh, we, prov uh, we 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 provide uh, bank to bank, this is where we we are able to move money uh, from one bank account to another bank account. We have uh, bank to wallets where money can move from a bank account to a wallet. Um, at a mobile money operator or payment service uh, uh, provider. 
We also have uh, the, uh, the the opposite where money can move from uh, a, um, a wallet to uh, a bank account. So we've brought in that uh, interoperability in this uh, instant uh, uh, payment uh, system. And we, we call it inclusive because um, we've uh, created a platform that is easy for uh, uh, interested uh, um, institutions that want to participate on the NFS. We, we have uh, easy to follow um, um, requirements and so far we are seeing uh, uh, a, a lot of uh, institutions uh, coming through to, uh, to just inquire and become part of uh, this exciting uh, 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 system that uh, we've brought up. So we've really um, walked the, the talk of, of building uh, an instant and inclusive uh, um, payment system uh, within Zambia. So just a few success, uh, successes that we've achieved uh, over the years. Uh, ZEC has um, established an interoperable uh, payment system among uh, commercial banks as well as uh, non-financial institutions like uh, the building societies, uh, MNOs, and uh, payment service uh, providers. ZEC has also established an instant and inclusive uh, payment uh, uh, system. From the time we, 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 we went live on uh, uh, e-money, we've uh, processed, um, we've uh, recorded uh, uh, 98.5 million transactions uh, with a, a value of uh, 66 uh, uh, billion uh, kwacha. Uh, Zek has also uh, managed to successively uh, switch transactions uh, between uh, banks and uh, non-banks, uh, the MNOs. So you don't need to worry uh, who you want to transact with, whether it's someone with a wallet or not, you can easily transact. So there is no restriction. If you have a bank account, well, uh, well and good. If you have a mobile uh, wallet, well and good. Wherever you are, that money will hit you. Thank you. So uh, in addition, we, we've uh, been certified in uh, three standards, the PCI DSS. Uh, uh, we also are certified in uh, ISO 2701, as well as uh, ISO 22301. Uh, and uh, just um, on the exciting part of um, inclusivity, uh, we've admitted 20, uh, 24 non-bank participants. And out of those 12 are active, uh, actively participating on the, on the switch. Uh, 12 are yet to, uh, to get connected. They're doing the, the groundwork to get uh, connected. And we have uh, 34 institu institutions that have uh, expressed interest in joining uh, the NFS. So all these to us uh, are success stories that are keep us uh, motivated even to move um, in, uh, to greater heights. So, and uh, these haven't just happened uh, uh, on their own, but uh, uh, mainly we have uh, a favorable regulatory uh, environment. We also uh, um, collaborate with uh, participants in achieving all the things that we have achieved. We have uh, a consultative approach in uh, anything that we implement. We ensure we consult all the stakeholders for the common good of uh, ensuring that uh, we, um, we, 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 we process uh, the, uh, the transactions uh, as quickly as possible. With all these uh, uh, successes, we, we, they didn't just happen, but we also have uh, challenges that um, um, we uh, we faced as we uh, implemented uh, this system. Uh, you know, running uh, this uh, system is uh, quite uh, costly, and uh, uh, being a, 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 an institution which is a public good, we have to balance between uh, 
financial inclusion and sustainability. And you, you realize that balancing that becomes a, uh, very critical and you have to uh, know the best way to do it for you to remain afloat. Um, we, we also realize that uh, the participants that we brought on board together had different uh, 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 tariffs. So to put those uh, tariffs together on one system was a bit of um, uh, a challenge. Um, we also have uh, some uh, delays in, uh, in, in uh, participants uh, implementing um, uh, some use cases. Again, we also saw some uh, uh, lack of general understanding of the payment systems for those uh, new participants that uh, uh, were um, um, admitted on the system, uh, saying that they are not really into the payment space, but they had to come in and uh, become a, a part of uh, this uh, uh, industry. So we start said we also have a, a future we are looking at. Uh, currently, we are we are looking at um, uh, implementing a national QR code that will help uh, facilitate with uh, uh, merchant payments. Uh, we are also um, in the process of uh, introducing agency banking as well as. Uh, integrating uh, with uh, the TCIB uh, system. And uh, the other upcoming um, uh, projects are implementing a centralized uh, uh, KYC uh, that will centralize all the KYC information from one, one place uh, for financial institutions uh, to access. Uh, we are also looking at uh, integrating into the commercial switch as well as uh, the, the path. So, Thank you so much. And in conclusion, uh, in these uh, days that will be here, let us uh, get engaged, uh, share our insight and experiences, and, uh, the, and challenge ourselves to think beyond the conventional limits. Let us leverage this meeting uh, as a platform for collaboration, inspiration, and uh, transformation. Thank you.